welcome back so in this video we will explore the input component from end design in last videos we integrated the end design library and explore the button component if you have not seen those videos i have added the links in the i button and the description below please have a look on them so let's start this video for exploring the input component so let's import the input component from nd and let's try to show some input component save it and here you go the input component is shown so you can write something in that and let's try to add some prop props so we can see the placeholder I suppose we can we want to say the name so the placeholder is shown and suppose we want it to limit the number of characters to suppose 10 so the max length we want to make it to 10 so if i type my name so it does not allow me to type more than 10 characters right so suppose we want this input to be a, a password so for that we need to change the type to password save it and now if i type something it will act as a password and what else we can do is we can always change the the style uh, as we did for the button so that is normal and that is available for all of the components so we will not go into details for the styling we can change uh, style of each component in and in, in design okay so in, in the mm, input suppose we want to show some icon suppose it is a name so suppose we want an a user icon so so user outline from the and design icons as we did for the button and for that suppose uh, we want to show it here so that will be the prefix and it will ask for a component okay save and here we go and uh, we can also add the, uh, these icons in the in the right hand side as well so for that we will that will be a suffix okay and uh, what else we want mm, in the input suppose while we are typing we want a clear button a clear icon or uh, our button should appear in the input so for that they have provided a prop to hello clear and that's easy so while you are typing it will show the clear and on pressing on it it will clear whatever is written in the text field all right and also there is props for disabled so if you want to disable the props like when user has entered his first name last name and you want to I suppose sign up or login and and while the api is in progress you want this field to be disabled so you can pass the disabled and we can pass the variable here or the state here okay so also this if you want this field to be act as a, a search field so that is uh, input or search save so it will act as a so it will the ui will be behaving like a the search field so that's it for the input component from the end design if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below 
and in the next video we will explore some other component stay tuned thanks for watching this video see you in next video thank you